powered by Unreal Engine. the fathers and together we will play like you may have guessed life is strange this is already my fourth try for the recording that's why i already have here a save file but let's get started okay, we will play episode one chrysalis second episode out of time will come out a sometime in March we'll play from then we'll start with the nightmare and we'll restart and lose oh, there is the mouse all our progress so let's get started Seems we have quite some bad weather at the moment going on. Let's do the lighthouse, okay. Do you see? Use caution on trail. Dangerous. Don't shake around. Push it. Okay, with the mouse we can move the camera. Okay. So at the lighthouse, hopefully. Yeah. Holy crap. That looks bad. Blackwell Academy, 1910. Arcadia Bay. Come on, man. You can make it. This is the place where we are. Let's see if we can get here somewhere to the Holy shit. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, okay, Victoria. So Why Arbus? We can take a look because of her images see. of hopeless faces. Clicking I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers in the 
She Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. But that photo seems already quite good, I would say. Well, I've seen already way worse photos than that. You saw humanity is tortured, right? And we got Mir to take a look bullshit. at. Shh, shh, shh. Pencil Keep case? Yourself. Seriously, though. I can't believe I, I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Well, then don't. And you like it, you don't need to change it. Too obvious? My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. The height of their beauty or innocence. journal? She had a I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. She could have taken another approach. Okay. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Well, still writing your own journal seem, uh, seems to me at least quite nice. Well, you can write down way more private stuff and your own thoughts than like on blogs or vlogs or I don't know. Those of you that want to read it, I guess you can simply pause the pause the video and then continue watching. So let's go chronically. We got accept into Blackwell Academy. Mm -hmm. Then August back to Arcadia Bay. Seems to be our town. Uh -huh, so then what do we got here? September. Uh, still September and here. Still. Well, well, it seems that we have at the moment now October then. Persons. Max, that's us. Max, Caulf Max Caulfield. Then Mr. Jefferson. Supposedly our teacher. Okay. Kate Marsh. And Victoria Chase. Uh -huh. Then episode names or I don't know. That looks like locations. Everything locked except Blackwell Academy. Okay. Some SMS now. That's nice. From Dad. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're not out now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Seems like we had some time ago. Birthday? Hopefully we still got some money. Okay. Oh. Quite much. Hey Max, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Okay. Seems to be that we are friend with friends with her. Heck, by mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. I can't believe it's been eight whole years since you were brought to us. Okay, as well birthday wishes and by foreign. Let's see. If you want to meet for coffee after school, I need an excuse to not study. Please. Make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. <laughs> I've never heard of such a movie. Hey Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Well, I have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. Well, I think maybe today, 5th of October? Maybe. Don't. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I, I, prefer I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Okay, and you can click, drag down to take selfie, and. Well, 
and both were the great Little detection of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um, well... Since we don't seem to know... Yes, let's... Well, let's try to avoid. You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process oh. brought out fine okay, no. people's faces. Making them extremely I popular from the 1800s it. on. I definitely the first American daguerreotype don't like you. Was done by Robert Cornelius. I think you can find out or... all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. We haven't done anything. Well, what that was the problem? Don't waste a second kissing ass. Uh, there was that kind of person, so as male, female, or I don't know, whatever. Some. Photo? That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Well, everybody looks here rather bored. Some equipment. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. I didn't understand that much because I'm not that much in the in photography, but well, sounds at least fancy. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Okay, some pop wine is grunge dead. I don't know. A printer. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Come try it and... Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Let's see, we Looks can like use somebody it. was already working on this. Cool. Neon wall. I have no idea of what it is. Maybe something like Photoshop? Or anybody of you knows? That thing might be used for. We've got so much to look at here. That's pretty amazing. Let's see, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Let's talk with her. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. Well, that, that, she seems quiet today. Why should we have embarrassed her? Don't know. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Maybe a, a, a cup of tea later can help. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Okay. Let's see what 
to the right or now I wish I wouldn't have read this purge oh come on that stuff isn't nice ah <sighs> oh well I like this panoramic view of Blackwell everything looks so green and serene maybe we can help her I don't know well I'd hope so some marks on the table. Hmm. This might make a cool shot. Okay then. Rachel Amber forever. Rachel M Ah. So that's what it is. We got I guess co kind of like collectibles or something like that should be quite nice to make them as photos a tablet of course victoria has to have the bestest newest most expensive everything of course normal stuff doesn't do it everybody knows that or i should have known she'll have better equipment than blackwell my god five thousand three hundred dollar for one camera Ish. Someone can overdo it, definitely. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Maybe never mind. A bit This back. is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Okay. Sounds quite fancy. Some books that we can as well take a look at. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Any leap of it's mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. I thought that Dali was a painter, not a photographer. But, well, maybe he did both. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Like before, simply try. It doesn't hurt. And besides, you seem to have quite some photos seeing already that you know only one room we made already two photos so you should have quite some man he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy some more photos even in pictures the forest around here always looks mysterious I really like the art style that kind of I don't know maybe that water drawn aquarelle like but still quite realistic view with sh I think shaders and so on that looks damn amazing to me you can never escape the lighthouse here that was the lighthouse from our nightmare so it seems to be quite real. Oh, okay, we need a photo. Another camera. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Oh. That can't be helped. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Um, there's no need to. So, let's talk with him when we can already. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Okay. Well, we have a photo, so that's 
pretty much a lie, so... Do we have to hand it in? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, it seems like we don't have to, at least at the moment. So let's get out of this classroom. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture in class. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. No, I told you. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> And now, welcome to Life is Strange. So, let's... This is episode 1, Cry Salis. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. Everybody looks happy just to be here. Pretty nice song, I would say. So let's do. I hope you don't mind it that I stayed silent. 
Okay, it repeats. This sounds so good. It looks like she's been gone for months. Rachel Amber. So, so she's been missing since April. My God, half a year already. My God, it's quite long. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Nathan? I guess we'll see him. You are. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Okay, so the Vortex one seems to be like your school's elitists. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Another one? These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Well, she must have lots of friends then. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. And next to Juliet is... Come on. Thank you, game. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. I more of them. I wonder what actually happened to her. I hope we can find out. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. So much motivation. Wow. Bad. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. They do stomp. Now, oh, what we've got here? You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Back then, my school didn't have such boards. Well, what to learn from that, I wonder. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. Well, being normal would be as well kind of boring when everybody would be the same. And you, Trevor, hello. Thank you. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Okay then. Why not to take a look at the rest of the stuff next episode?